Our word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. And it says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Praise the Lord. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we are all waiting for the Lord to answer the prayers that we pray every day. And then that's what the Lord wants us to do. We pray and we wait. You know, we don't try and go out and make it happen. We don't try to fix the issues of our problems ourselves. You know, there's no point of praying if we're just going to go and do those kind of things. But this verse is telling us God is going to answer this prayer prayers. We just continue to just wait on him. We will feel that renewed strength that the only he can give us, that peace. And when we run, we won't get tired. And when we walk, we won't faint because we are standing on the strength of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 2 Corinthians verses 4, verse 4, verse 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 says, Therefore, do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing. Yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Every day, God is strengthening us. He's given us more faith. He's given us more hope. He's given us most love. He's given us more comfort. He's given us more peace. Day by day in the inside, God works on the inside of us, not the outside of us. The outside of us, we kind of take care of that, but, but it's perishing. It doesn't matter. The flesh is dying, getting weaker, and all of those things, but it's, it's all about the inside of us anyway. Our heart is where the Lord dwells. You know, he's working on our hearts. He's given us that faith to be able to trust that we're going to have reconciliation in our families and our friends and those we have issue with. We wait because we know that he's doing the good work in us and we, he has to take the stuff in our hearts out and continue to bring us closer and closer to him because that's what he does. And that's what we need. We know we have the trials and tribulations in our lives. And that's to give us, that's training us to have more faith and more hope and more love. So my brothers and sisters, do not lose heart because we don't see things happening right now. God is not, God, everything happens in God's timing but just do not lose heart. In Galatians chapter nine, Galatians chapter six, verses nine and 10 says, and let us not grow weary, weary while doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart. My brothers and sisters, things are gonna change. We can't see it. We can't see the work that God is doing, but know that he's doing something. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Praise the Lord. So we, we continue to pray for each other continue to comfort each other, continue to love each other. That's the good God is talking about. Praise the Lord. In Isaiah 25, verse 9 says, 
And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. He will be glad and rejoice. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Amen. Lord, let us pray. Lord, we just thank you for this word. We just thank you that you are showing us that you hear our prayers and you know our struggles and you know the desires of our hearts. And we just have to wait. But we can't wait because we don't have the patience that you have. We don't have those things, but you have to give it to us. So I just pray you for everyone that you give everyone the patience to be able to wait while you move, while you continue to do the work that you're doing. And, uh, and we know that we will be blessed. We will be renewed. Our strength will be great. And we will mount up like eagles' wings. And, and we will be mighty men and women of you. But we need your help to do this. None of these things we can do on our own. So your word tells us to ask and it will be given to you. So I'm asking for everyone on this call, those that hear, that will hear this message later, this word, that you just give us the strength to be able to wait and we know we will be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all today. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.